Last week, I called out Universal for race swapping Astrid in the upcoming live action How to Train Your Dragon. And in the last few days, the director has decided to to come out and make a statement and give an, you know, an excuse as to why this has happened and almost like push back on that narrative that, you know, they went woke with this uh, whole narrative. Um, I will read what uh, this director said because this is quite interesting at this point in time. Uh, first of all, I am not a big fan of, uh, of characters, very popular prominent characters being race swapped for any reason i don't even care if it is just to uh maybe get a certain actor and keep that actor the way that actor is because that is the the, the impression this director is giving in in his explanation saying that yes he got other actresses that look like astrid but he went with nico parker because he felt that nico parker could pull the character off better than blonde ladies that actually look like astrid very dumb excuse but i'll go over the crap he says um now a lot of people have complained like i have you know the reality is that when you do these kind of stuff people will push back uh people will push back and nico parker is not to blame she is a decent actress she is not very popular this probably will be her breakthrough into hollywood like big time being a big time actress in hollywood she's the daughter of tindu way newton um and the, the reality is that she is just there there's nothing special about her casting her is not the you know the be or end or you could have found someone that actually looks more like astrid and is a blonde lady that will play that character very well but they decided to go with this chick nico parker and now he's out here um giving excuses as to why this has happened uh so he says this you know he says this because he was sharing uh his thoughts online and he says that uh, nico parker's casting is not about the color of of her skin it's about the acting uh it, wait guys if you think that this is not about the color of her skin why did you not go cast someone that actually looks like astrid that is actually a good actress for christ's sakes there are so many blonde chicks working in hollywood right now that actually can act what the hell are you saying okay he continues by saying that this is not about color it's about the acting exactly uh as as as, as wrote by the director we auditioned many actors for the role including actors who look like they are they are animated counterparts but we chose the actors uh who best embodied the spirit and personality of the characters now this is this guy is ridiculously stupid for saying something like this because you are telling me that you you saw many actors that look exactly like what is in the animated uh movies and you rejected those people and you go cast someone that is not of the same race there's you know someone that has no identical sorry no reflection of the character she's playing and you're giving me this excuse that it's because of acting so you're trying to tell me all those other blonde chicks that you rejected don't know how to act or what anyway let's continue with his stupid reasons because these are things that i dislike about stupid directors that push agendas in hollywood these days to fuel dei quota and make dumb excuses like this um you know he says that since uh the the tribe in this version is made up of descendants of the finest dragon fighters from everywhere the vikings had ever traveled uh and you know he said which historically was far and wide vikings mixed with many cultures uh now he says that still we're we're crafting a fantasy not historical fact and uh and all we uh, and all will be revealed in time uh we are not making a shot for shot remake we just uh, stuck close to the key moments to honor the original which i remain very proud of um and now he he says this as he's concluded he said that uh the teaser features a few uh, of those moments and in, you know instead of completely 
uh, having a new tail, we aim to embellish and deepen without abandoning the story the fans love. Uh, so he is giving excuses as to why these decisions we are taking. But first of all, I will say it's a very dumb decision. You just do not cast someone that has no reflection whatsoever as the original character we've watched in the animated fe fe features and give this dumb excuse as to why you made uh, those changes. Um, now, if you don't know much about the upcoming live action, How to Train Your Dragon, it stars many actors and actresses, including Mason Thames that will play Hiccup. Um, you will have Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler will be in this movie. You will also have Nico Parker. Nico Parker will play Astrid, which is a very, very dumb decision. You will have Nick Frost. Nick Frost will be in this film. You will have julian daniel danielson you have julian Dennison. you have gabriel hallwell you have um uh browning james you have harry um uh, harry tindu wayne you have root code root code um and then finally you have murray MacArthur. uh murray MacArthur will be the final main star in this project Time will tell if this is going to be a good decision, but for now, this is his explanation, and I think it's a dumb explanation. Share your thoughts down below, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.